With so many options out there, it can be hard finding the best backpacking tent. That's why in this video, I'll be breaking down the top seven best backpacking tents that you can buy today. Hey, it's David here from the Gearshire, where we connect outdoor enthusiasts like yourself to the best gear on the market. If you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button and all the links to everything mentioned in this video, you can find linked in the description below. Packing a top-notch tent is one of the best ways to increase comfort, safety, and enjoyment on backpacking trips. But when you're in the market for a new tent, you'll quickly find that there are a lot of options out there with tons of specs to compare. So after tons of research and reading reviews, I compiled the list of the best backpacking tents on the market. I've included backpacking tents for every budget, so there's bound to be a backpacking tent for you on this list. I'll be reviewing each backpacking tent based on their features, pros, and cons. They are listed in no specific order, so make sure to watch to the end so you don't miss out on any of the best tents. And while you're watching, make sure to comment down below and tell me what your favorite backpacking tent is. Now, without further ado, let's dive in. Number seven on the list is the Big Agnes Copper Spur HV UL2. We rank this tent as the best overall backpacking tent. I think that the Big Agnes Copper Spur HV UL2 and UL3 have the best combination of weight, interior space, weather protection, and ease of use out of any backpacking tent on our list. This tent may be a little pricey for some, but you'll be hard pressed to find a better freestanding backpacking tent in this weight class. If you're okay with a tighter interior or you often backpack solo, then the UL2 is an excellent choice. If you mostly backpack in pairs, we suggest bumping up to the UL3, which has more interior space and only weighs 13 ounces more. The pros of the Big Agnes Copper Spur are the lightweight size at three pounds, one ounce, the roomy interior, the quick and easy pitch setup, and the only con is that it's slightly less durable to some of the other tents on our list. This tent would be great for beginners or intermediate backpackers looking for a lightweight, roomy tent. Number six on our list is the Marmot Tungsten Two-Person UL, and it's our choice for the best budget backpacking tent. The Marmot Tungsten Two-Person UL strikes a great balance between weight, cost, and livability. In our eyes, it's a highly underrated tent. It has a similar floor plan to the Copper Spur HVUL2, but it comes at a lower cost and feels a little bit more roomier inside. I like that it's polyester rainfly, doesn't sag in the wet and cold weather, and that the door zippers easily open with one hand. My only complaint is that the tungsten has two sides of vestibules that aren't symmetrical. One is larger than the other, for some odd reason. Still, for its weight, cost, and interior space, the Marmot Tungsten two-person UL squarely ranks among the best. The pros of the Marmot are it's affordable, it's roomy on the inside, and it's quick to set up. The only cons is that the vestibules are different sizes. So if you're looking for a premium budget backpacking tent that's roomy, then definitely go for the Marmot Tungsten two-person UL. However, Make sure to keep watching because later on in this video, I will be covering other backpacking tents that are even more premium, but at a decent price. Number five on our list is the Big Agnes Tiger Wall UL Backpacking Tent. Big Agnes Tiger Wall UL2 delivers a nice amount of interior space in an ultralight package. The Tiger Wall is a combination of two popular tents. The shape is similar to the Copper Spur, but lighter. One downside is that the Tiger Wall is a semi-freestanding design, which requires two stakes at the foot of the tent for a full pitch. This type of design is less convenient on rocky terrain and may sag a bit in cold or wet weather, and it won't hold up quite as well in heavy winds. The Tiger Wall is built with materials that are about as thin as we would go to trust on the trail. So it's not a good choice for those who are rough on their gear, but it would be a good choice for someone who is minimal when backpacking. The Tiger Wall has a few small drawbacks, but it's a solid option for those who want a roomier ultralight shelter. The pros of the Big Agnes Tiger Wall ultralight backpacking tent are the lightweight size at two pounds, eight ounces, the roomy interior, 
and the nice pockets. The cons are its lightweight material isn't as tough as some of the other tents on our list. So if weight matters and you're looking for an ultralight backpacking tent, then the Big Agnes Tiger Wall is a great tent to buy. Number four on the list is the Nemo Hornet Ultralight Backpacking Tent. The Nemo Hornet 2 is an incredibly light, double wall, semi-freestanding tent. It has two doors, which are rare and a benefit for a tent in its weight class. It's listed as a two-person tent, but the slanted walls limit the interior space, making it a little bit of a tight squeeze for two people. I think that the Hornet 2 makes a better solo backpacking shelter for those who like to have enough space to keep their gear inside. The Hornet's main drawback is its semi-freestanding design. It requires two stakes at the foot, which can be inconvenient on rocky terrain and wet weather. Overall, if you're looking for a solo ultralight backpacking tent with all the comforts of a traditional tent, the Hornet 2 person is a great option. The pros of the Nemo Hornet 2 are the super lightweight size at 2 pounds 5 ounces, the interior space for a solo hiker, and the small pack size. The cons are it won't fit two people very well. So if you're a solo hiker and you really are wanting to get a great tent with tons of room, then the Nemo Hornet 2 is your go-to. Number three on our list is the Nemo Dagger Ultralight Backpacking Tent. The Nemo Dagger 2 person is big on livability, but doesn't take up too much weight to get there. The dagger has a rectangular floor and symmetrical ceiling, which increases elbow room and usable interior space. The dagger also comes with two huge vestibules, which allow for lots of room for gear storage. Though two tent stakes are required for each vestibule, our main qualm with the dagger is that we wish that it had more ventilation for condensation management, but it's not a deal breaker. So if you're looking for a lightweight livability and a convenient design, then the Nemo Dagger two-person is a great choice. The pros of the Nemo Dagger Ultralight are the freestanding design, the ample room for two people, and the quick and easy setup process. On the downside, it's expensive at around $430, but if you are comfortable spending a little extra, it would make a great two-person backpacking tent. Number two on our list is the MSR Freelight two-person ultralight backpacking tent. The MSR Freelight 2 is right on track with its weight and features. It's a little spendy, however, coming in at around $490. It has an interesting design with a low peak that would work great for a one-person tent, but probably not for a two-person tent. It's lightweight at two pounds, eight ounces, and has a quality build structure. Overall, it's worth picking up if you appreciate the design and don't mind shelling out a little bit more cash. The pros of the MSR Freelight two-person ultralight backpacking tent are the lightweight design and the unique look that's fresh compared to other standard tents. On the downside, it is expensive and it has a low peak design. Number one on our list is the MSR Hubba Hubba NX2. The MSR Hubba Hubba NX has been one of the most popular tents in the backpacking world for many years, and for good reason. It's a well-designed, roomy, and durable tent that provides excellent protection in windy and wet weather. The symmetrical layout and near-vertical sidewalls on the Hubba Hubba provide a lot of interior space for two hikers to sit up and hang out in their tent. Our two main complaints with the Hubba Hubba are that it's a tad heavier than we would prefer, though not bad when split up between two hikers. And the wall at the head side feels a bit close to the face while you're lying down. Overall, the Hubba Hubba ranks squarely among the best backpacking tents for dependable protection and comfort. The pros of the Hubba Hubba are the double design, the ample room for two people, and it's built to last and remains as a front runner in the backpacking tent world. On the downside, it's a little heavy at 3 pounds 14 ounces. I definitely recommend picking up the MSR Hubba Hubba NX2 as your go-to backpacking tent. It's not the lightest out there, but you are getting the most bang for your buck. Now it's time for my top recommendations for the best backpacking tents on our list. The best backpacking tent that I recommend for people on our budget is a Marmot Tungsten two-person 
UL. At $300, you're getting a ton of value with this great tent. The best backpacking tent for intermediate users or people in general would be the Big Agnes Copper Spur HV. You really can't go wrong with it because it's got that extra room. And if you're wanting the best of the best, go with the MSR Hubba Hubba NX2. It's top of my list because of the superior build quality and structure. There you have it, my top three recommendations for the best backpacking tents. Make sure to click on the video slide on the screen now to catch more of my content here on YouTube. And don't forget to subscribe for tons more gear talk. I will see you in the next video.